dear. So well known, it's too much about me. Uh, but I'm not going to talk about the bottom line of these recommendations because that's a business of a uh, competition uh, agency or anti-monopoly, AMCU. A a -M -C -U. We can improve it uh, thanks to recommendations from NGOs and businesses and whatever. But I just wanted to draw your attention to the following. First of all, that's for the first time within the last years, uh, that's the first discussion that happens when we have already the document to talk about. Because Piotr uh, have mentioned already uh, that he is welcoming the new guidelines and whatever. These are not new guidelines, but the first ones, <laughs> the first introduced kind of stuff. Uh, because in competition agency, or we call it anti-monopoly committee, unfortunately, such document never existed in this agency. At least for the, uh, we never discussed it openly uh, the way we are discussing it now. I am really grateful that we have this initiative and I hope that uh, we will uh, adopt the document finally and we'll apply it even. So, but what we need to do? We need to create such legislation and bylaws that will be uh, working even when uh, competition agency will be replaced. I mean, top officials. That then uh, the future uh, authorities in the competition legislation, competition uh, agency, and anti monopoly agency, so despite all the lobbies and influences, they will apply the same way it is applied now. And uh, the recommendations, uh, this document are very much important. We know pretty well that recommendations mean sometimes here that sometimes you apply, sometimes you do not apply. That's recommendations Ukrainian way. And we had a discussion with uh, anti-monopoly committee. Uh, do we need to register these documents in the Ministry of Justice? Should we make it a norm document? And to my mind, my uh, opinion, maybe you will disagree with this, or anti-monopoly committee will disagree with that, because I think that's something that is needed. This is kind of preventive measure. That this means that something is not going to happen in the society. Suddenly, anti-monopoly committee wakes up and changes the rule of the game in accordance with certain circumstances or the top officials will be replaced and they will uh, be happy to adjust it to their needs. So I think that mandatory registration in the Ministry of Justice will be kind of preventive measure to make sure it's not happening. And the mandatory character of the document, but to the same, the, at the same time we need discretion uh, provided to the anti-monopoly committee. But definitely, general character should be mandatory. And only in such case, businesses, when they'll complain and appeal and sue in court, whatever, they'll be able to apply this document and they will refer to this document as norm document. Otherwise, unfortunately, these recommendations are not going to be mandatory for the court. I think it's really very much needed. The rest we can work a lot, but in case we disagree with the concept, this kind of explanations will be just recommendations for the sake of recommendations, and we won't have transparency in the operations of the anti-monopoly committee, not only now, but for the future years. And thank you, that's my comments.